50 kilograms per person a year. This is about the total estimated global consumption of bread. This indicator is different for different countries as well as consumers' preferences. For example, almost half of the UK residents, or 44%, prefer baked goods with high protein content because they find them less harmful to health. Such pastries, such as grain bread with the addition of cranberries, orange slices or real chocolate chips, are nutritious and rich in vitamins and micro elements. And in Ireland and Poland, for example, bakers increasingly add a variety of cereals, seeds and vegetables, such as tomatoes, carrots and sweet peppers in the recipe. In the past couple of years, this has become the main trend in the bakery market. The price of such gastronomic pleasure in Europe starts from one and a half dollars for a loaf. The bread alike is also being produced in Kazakhstan. From time immemorial, baking was considered a noble craft. Today, it is not only a way to produce one of these staple foods, but also a promising, fast-growing business. Yuri Yugai knows this firsthand. He has been in the bakery for a decade and a half and has overcome many difficulties in order to raise and maintain his enterprise at a high level. Our organization was opened in 2001. And it was very difficult in terms of support, because the product we had was absolutely new for the market, both for the end consumers and for the stores. We faced a lot of difficulties connected to sales. Bread production is not an easy process, though fascinating. The startup is carried out after sifted flour gets into special devices, dough mixes. There the dough piece acquires the necessary consistency and after a certain time is being fed to the dividing machines. This machine divides dough into pieces with a weight error plus or minus 1 to 2 grams after the dough is being first processed. At first, the dough passes the preliminary stratification and afterwards, it sort of has a rest and gets ready for the secondary processing. Everything happens here. The dough is being rolled into the necessary shape, either for a hot dog or a hamburger, or simply in some round pieces. After gaining one or another form, semi-finished dough is being laid on sheets. They in turn are being placed in special trolleys and sent to a proofing bath to restore the volume and friability of the dough after the formation of baking products. Thanks to this, bakery looks much more appetizing. After passing through the proofing bath, the dough goes into the regular oven. All processes are fully automated, so the human factor is almost absent here. There are programs for each position in the ovens. So we select any position, the oven automatically supplies the steam, finishes the baking process and gives the sound signal. The final stage is a cutting and packing area, after which the finished bakery product goes for sale. The range of products cooked here is diverse as Yuri actively monitors all the trends and tries to implement them in the domestic market as soon as possible, thereby contributing to its strengthening. We have practically introduced the same toast to bread into the culture. We were first who started to bake it and now every school child goes to school with a sandwich made of such bread. The same way we now produce bread for hamburgers and Chicago bagels something that has not been yet in our market. We try to constantly improve the quality of our products and offer something new to our people and our market. As for the price and types of goods, the company carries out both wholesale and retail trade and even delivers bakery to catering companies. Trading range is also diverse, starting from 40 tanga per item. Yuri's future plans are to conquer domestic market and fill it with tasty and healthy products of his own production. These goods are present in Kazakhstan, but as usual there are being imported, so they are brought in the frozen foam from Europe and Russia. We have accumulated the technology of production of these products. We are the only ones here on the local market producing these very products.
и увезти на рынок. Today the company has two branches and supplies its products to large supermarkets in many cities of Kazakhstan. 70% of working processes are mechanized. The rest of the work is done by skilled specialists. There are 800 of them here. In the nearest future the enterprise plans to enter the foreign market. There are certain plans concerning exports so far to Russia. The works upon future cooperation are already underway. Meanwhile, we are covering the market of Kazakhstan. In the Kazakhstan's market of bakery products, the tendency towards a healthy diet has been flourishing over the past few years. However, consumers refuse to add bread to the list of unhealthy products and therefore they are ready to overpay for purchasing a product with bright taste qualities and also enriched with vitamins and trace elements. Demand creates supply, and local bakers seek to take into account numerous requirements. We work without amplifiers, dyes or flavor enhancers. Now there are a lot of companies that offer the same goods, but our main point is that we work without these flavor enhancers, without baking powder and any improvers. We use only natural products. This particular company has been on the market for several years and during this time several types of bread have been put into production and sent for sale. Borodinsky, Kazakhstansky and the milk breads are among them. Our company has been on the market for more than 12 years and during this time we have achieved very good results. For example, during the last four to five years, at the International Forum we have constantly occupied the first and the second places. This means that our products are good enough and are in a high demand. The price is made up of various factors. One of them is overcrowding in the labor market. An average production plant is able to provide jobs for about 200 workers. And in order to remain in demand, people agree to work for the minimum wage and in difficult conditions. We work day and night to produce more than a ton of products per day. The car delivers our products to supermarket sets in the early morning. And by the daytime we already need to bake more products. We have a very good publicity and I repeat once again and put emphasis on this that our products are very tasty. Over the past year and a half the price for a bag of flour has risen by 700 tenge and now it costs 3900. The price of water has increased by almost a quarter and gas by 13%. More than that fuel and lubricants have increased their cost. A litre of diesel now costs 188 tenge. In the price of bread these costs are the most significant. This is evident in the rise in prices for the most popular tin bread, which is also called social. The cost of bread in Shimkent immediately increased by 10 tenge. Now the consumer will pay 60 tenge for a loaf of the so-called social bread. A 500 gram roll of bread in Aktau costs 78 tenge. And in Almaty, it promises to grow up to 90. Now it is possible to buy bread for 50 tenge only in Taraz. And yet, sellers and manufacturers tend to keep prices and hold a customer by increasing the range of goods produced. Our price range starts from 50 tenge and higher, so I think they are quite affordable for our people, for our consumers. Also, our company produces more than 30 types of sandy cakes, not to mention soured sandy dough for pies with various fillings chicken and fish, for example. Grain remains the main factor affecting the price and volumes of bread production. Over the past five years, Kazakhstan has been producing it at the amount of approximately 19 million tons per year. Of these, 8 million tons were annually exported. Thus, the country entered and firmly entrenched the top 10 of the world's leading supplies of grain and flour. Overall, there are 35 states in the list of countries consumers of these Kazakhstan products and main export routes lead to China, Afghanistan, Iran and the countries of Central Asia. It is there that 87% of the total grain exports go. 
the main cereal for exporters durum wheat. Last year, 385 tons of it were exported mainly to Russia, Turkey and Tunisia. Specialists from the Grain Union of Kazakhstan have noted that over the past three years, Italy's interest in domestic durum wheat has increased 10 times. The market of bread and bakery products is very diverse and is being constantly updated with new products. Tortilla, pita, focaccia, ciabatta. This is not a complete list of goods. Consumer preferences, as in any other industries here, also dictate the rules of the game. For example, in Western countries, there is an intense demand for products that do not contain gluten. And it's not a matter of food allergy of consumers, but a desire to eat healthy food. Day by day, the so-called Asian recipes are becoming popular. Fashion for Oriental products is especially gaining momentum in Europe and America. And every third inhabitant of the UK acquires such types of bread as Indian naan and pita almost on a daily basis. The bakery market is also opened for handmade. From year to year, customers are less likely to trust products of plant origin, preferring homemade pastries. Therefore, now handmade bread, although costs more, is in great demand. As a result, the business segment of private bakeries is growing by leaps and bounds. The tough competition for bakery products is made up of fast products, such as cereals, cookies and multi-cereal bars. By virtue of convenience of consumption and a wide range, they risk replacing many varieties of bread. To win this fight, bakers have focused on toasts and crackers. They have a long shelf life, a variety of taste solutions and do not require additional heat treatment. According to archaeologists, for the first time humanity learned about bread more than 15,000 years ago. At first, the ancient people ate grains in raw form. Then they began to rub them, mix with water and bake them on fire. Such bread was not much like modern, but it put the basis for the era of bread baking. In all civilizations, this product is respected and highly valued. In ancient Egypt, for example, the sun, gold and bread had the same designation. The hieroglyphs and drawings of the Egyptians tell us that even then people had baked more than 50 types of bread. In addition, they were the first to learn how to make bread from fermented dough. This is evidenced by a legend that tells about the slave who did not keep track of the dough and it soured. To avoid punishment, he still baked cakes. They turned out lush, ruddy and tasty, and the random recipe was widely adopted. And now, as always, in the end of the program, a useful tip. How to choose the best bread properly. Bread itself is one of the simplest foods, but buying really healthy bread for a person can be a difficult task. Experts advise to pay attention to a number of factors. The most important of them is the presence of whole grains in the product. Unscrupulous manufacturers often add quite a bit of whole grain flour to their product. The bread is slightly darker than the regular white one. By this, they try to attract the attention of lovers of a healthy lifestyle, although duck bread is not necessarily nutritious. Therefore, carefully study the composition of the product. Avoid special thickeners, phosphates, modified starch and azodicarbonamide, which are being added to make the bread softer. The same applies to artificial preservatives like calcium propionate or sodium benzoate. There should be none of them in bread. Refrain from buying bread containing soy flour or soy protein isolate. But natural preservatives such as ascorbic acid are quite suitable. Did you know that a loaf of the world's most expensive bread costs $25? It is made from the best quality ingredients. First-rate flour from the British Wiltshire and the best French Roquefort cheese, which is completely free of impurities and preservatives and costs £15 per kilogram. It is possible to buy miracle bread only in London department stores. Kazakhstan has its own wonders. Scientists of the Kazakh Research Institute of Processing and Food Industry have developed a new technology for the production of bakery products with a high content of vitamins. It is planned to launch testing of the know-how on the basis of the institute and then it is going to be implemented in bakeries. According to the developers, production will begin in the nearest future. Who knows, maybe in the next 10 years, our local bread will be known to the whole world. <laughs>